Back on the 32. Um, I think I'm gonna try and tackle this area here. Um, get that kind of situated. So, I think I'm gonna roll this outside quickly, you know, get the lead out of this area. Um, so Kelly and Jacob started getting it out, but they forgot to use a wire brush, kind of get this stuff clean. Do the same thing, kind of just with the three inch on the inside. Um, get all this paint out of here and see what we're looking like. And then we can, you know, see, see what we gotta do. Um, I might be able to just do a slice, reform everything, tack it, weld it back together, slice this crap out, or I might have to make a piece, I'm not sure. Party's here. So let's get this pushed outside so we can take care of the lead and then back in, try to fix it. Also, drive shaft is now in. You can check out Kelly's channel to see that. Yeah, I did the hard stuff. I do the hard stuff around here. Travis does the easy stuff. So someone's, someone's gotta keep this ship afloat. Got muscles McGee over here. Like, I didn't know what Travis wanted to do tonight. The kids just went to bed early. And now, thinking about having to be outside and, and dealing with lead, I might have something to do. <laughs> I want to start dropping axles. So I want to make a jig. Because now I have all these extra axles. So I should start dropping them. Some are tweaked, but I can fix them. surface and I'm kind of just getting the rust off and kind of cleaning up the rest see all the gas well that goes up and around and the cut down here hmm. so I probably do have to make a strip a strip like that I don't know what I'm doing right here but so now what you gonna melt it huh you melting it no no more Oh, I thought you were melting the lead out. I thought I was gonna, but I looked at it and it was like nothing on there. I just have to hit it with that wheel and that's it. Cool. So to hit the place out a little bit, because there's rust in the air. Man. Echo. Oh, really not bad. Just literally make a strip. I don't have to put any contour in it because then, because I'll just come in with a planching hammer later and just lightly add the probably 36 to 48 radius that this is. Take two seconds. Don't forget, guys, that the tutor's also for sale. Who wants a tutor? You want a tutor. Get a tutor. And a 2002. So, I 
figured while I'm out here with Travis, I'd tell you guys, in case you guys don't follow me, if you guys use Eastwood, you guys know we have a lot of Eastwood stuff here. I have a code with Eastwood, Kelly10, will get you 10% off your Eastwood order. So if you're doing a project or you're doing anything and you want that 10% off on Eastwood's website, just use my code, Kelly10. But yeah. Girls going back in. Getting put to work. Look at that. Ooh. 17 inches. Travis, I've got the camera on. <laughs> so? Nobody wants to listen to your ass. Shep Travis, get off the Instagram. Two inches by 17 with a little. Oh my god. People keep messaging me. Who cares? People. thinking. I'm thinking it's all ugly. Oh yeah. And knock the ugly out of it. Knock the ugly out. Should get out of here then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Wow that looks like crap huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh. Travis has a damn fan on. in here. You think? I'll fix the most of that mess. Right there. So what are you gonna cut it out? Dico. You guys know what Dico is. <coughs> oh yeah, it's real stinky. <coughs> Alright, let's just dry for a minute and then you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay this over it, clamp it here, clamp it there, maybe clamp it a third place if I can get it. Then scribe, cut, install. I think I'm gonna cut around the edges off of this thing so it makes it nice to well. So many chemicals. Here you go. Can you take your pictures? Just for you, Jill. These snips. Joe's favorite snips. I at least don't have those rear horns, so like, I'm not used to it. Pain in the butt.
I need a new shrinker. Probably beat that into submission. I'll do that later. Whoops, don't follow that line. Rear window, just in case, I put it somewhere else. So, so I don't. And no, I didn't go all the way to the edge because... Our friend Jim Barilaro let us have these pieces, which are pretty cool. So that's going to get taken out when I put this in. I think I want to make a die to this profile. I have another one of these um, whole roof sections from here to here that I'll pull this bead off of, probably over here. Cause I don't think that's deep enough. This is a Brookville piece. And I'm not sure how accurately deep they do the beads. So I wanna make it as accurate as possible to original. So I'll probably make another die and send this through quick just to make sure it's deep enough. Cause I know this is all built up and stuff, but it looks like it'd be a lot deeper than that. Especially up here. It definitely does. So yeah, like this. Yeah, see if when this is flat here, how much space that that should be lying on top of it. So definitely not deep enough. So I gotta make this deeper, but the you know the shape is here that I can follow with a die. So that's you know more than I can ask for. So I just got that trimmed out. It seems like it fits it pretty well. Um, you know, I might have to do a little trimming. I'll do it on this because it's easier to cut this than it is the body. The rest should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, this I edge can't... is fine. It's just this edge right here. It's the only thing.
I'm just gonna start attacking. Are you welding it in today or just tacking it? I don't know. Did you just throw it in? Thank you. Uh, I had a fun time. Superman. <laughs> Supervising Ari Sugrad. Be sure to use code. You're not even recording me. Be sure to use code Kelly10 at your next Eastwood order. Thank you and have a good night. So I got this thing tacked in. Uh, it's a pretty good gap along the whole thing, mostly none. I do have a few in a couple places. Um, like down here is a little gap. And this side's a tiny gap. But the rest of it's pretty good. I'm gonna leave this alone uh, because I'm cutting that out. Uh, might even leave this tack alone too. I don't know, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go try and weld this thing around, see how that goes. There is a few thin spots that I'm not excited to hit. Um, so, you know, just keep soldiering on, I guess.
right, we got this done so far. I need a little bit of planishing hammer work in here to kind of raise it up and bring it to shape. Because it is a flat piece that I put in there. So I'm gonna put a little shape into that. And then I need to cut out this uh, relief cut there they put here. It's barely a relief cut anymore. It's kind of just like a relief uh, cave and pave. So it's gotta go there. I still gotta shape this little piece. Um, see, it lays down in a few areas, but a few more areas need to lay down and smooth out. I kind of just hit this with a shrinker and that's it. So that'll be later, but got that piece mostly welded in. Corner's looking a lot better already. I'm gonna try to get this piece fixed up tonight. Um, so like I had yesterday, I got this piece. I wanna refine the shape some before I just put this here and start cutting, you know what I'm saying? So let me, uh, let me get the planishing hammer out a little bit and try to beat this into submission. That's just gonna be hard to planish out. So, might as well just put another piece in. Hello? Seems like that fits pretty good. If I do say so myself. Little bit of gap right there. But, it's also a dent there. Once I bring that up, it might not be as big.
All right, so I got this little corner in, this little piece. So this part is looking all right. You know, kind of moving my way around town. Not gonna deal with this yet. Um, probably next time I get my burns omatic torch, I'm gonna melt the lead out of this side and start digging into what this looks like, which, uh, you know, I can already tell. It looks the same as the other side. Um, overlapped goodness here and here. Uh, the, yes, there is a relief cut right here. It's hard to see, but there is. And then, you know, and after I get that done, and I've, and I mess with these corners, the back roof corner is done per se. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to worry about this because when I make a roof insert, I'll probably make it back to here. You kind of make a, a loop over there, so won't worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, you know, this part looks all right. Hmm, it's leaned back, it's leaned forward besides this part here, so. I need to do a little whacking, thwacking, to get this leaned in. You see how that's like, let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, see? Comes like that, and this is straight up, but this is on an angle. Gotta deal with that. This is okay. This one's all right. This right here is poking out, so. I'll do a little massage in there. It's not that bad. Good thing I noticed it. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, you're cruising along a little bit. Need to do this whole corner. And then that. But I, I don't want to touch anything down there until I get my sub rails. Which, to be honest, I haven't even ordered yet. So there's, you know, there's that. Um, so I gotta do that, and, uh, yeah, I'll probably start on the other stuff, the other corner, next time. So, that's one.